Tonight, a new warning about some of the most popular prescription drugs in America, treating heartburn and acid reflux. They're now also sold over the counter. While it's already known they're linked to a risk of fractures and infections, now a new study finds they can have another serious side effect. NBC's Proton pump inhibitors are quickly becoming a treatment of choice for people suffering with heartburn and acid reflux. But could these patients be unknowingly putting themselves at risk for serious complications? I'm Rochelle Grossman with your latest health news. Two new studies found that proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, may increase the risk of chronic kidney disease. PPIs are a class of drugs sold under the brand names Prilosec, Nexium, and Prevacid, among others. The lead study author says as the popularity of these drugs increases, healthcare providers need to be better educated about the potential side effects of the drugs. Chronic kidney disease is a condition characterized by a gradual loss of kidney function over time. It can eventually progress to end-stage kidney failure, which is fatal without dialysis or a kidney transplant. The teams of researchers looked at thousands of U.S. adults with normal kidney function. They found that the patients who took PPIs were more likely to develop chronic kidney disease. Zero heartburn! Sold as Nexium, Prilosec, and Prevacid, more than 15 million Americans shelled out over $10 billion in 2013 for the prescription versions of these drugs called proton pump inhibitors. Now a new study from Johns Hopkins says these acid-reducing drugs may increase the risk for chronic kidney disease 20 to 50 percent. Cleveland Clinic kidney specialist Dr. Cheryl Cancel is treating Kim Hinkle. Kim had normal kidney function in March, and then blood work in August showed kidney function down to 30 percent. Kim was taking one of the over-the-counter versions. On a hunch, Dr. Cancel had Kim stop and her kidneys improve. I was lucky it was caught early and that we can do something about it. For over-the-counter acid reducers, the FDA recommends they be used for 14 days and no more than three times a year. For the prescription versions, the package insert recommends for most conditions, the pills be taken for up to eight weeks. Pill this study is an observational study that looked at a large collection of patients, actually two large collections of patients, and compared those that were taking acid blockers, proton pump inhibitors, to those that were not. Specifically, they looked at the uh, possibility of um, chronic kidney injury in those patients. Uh, they found a small uh, but statistically significant increased risk of kidney injury in the patients who were taking the proton pump inhibitors. This is an important study because a lot of patients take these drugs. Um, millions and millions of Americans are on proton pump inhibitors and have been on them for many years and uh, patients' attention. My takeaway message from this study linking chronic kidney disease to proton pump inhibitor use is that we need to be careful. These side effects are probably relatively rare, but given the large number of patients that take the drugs, they might be real. When a patient comes in to see me, I'm going to say, do you really need the drug? Could we get by on something perhaps less strong? Could we use a different drug or perhaps a lower dose of the drug?